Hi, everybody, and welcome to Shaky's Sports Journeys. Uh, listen, very, very different uh, thing lined up for you today. Uh, I'm joined in what you can see is sunny Pakistan um, by ex-Scotland coach um, and now head of high-performance coaches, all, all coaches, 72, Grant tells me in total. I'm joined by Grant Bradburn. How are you, sir? I'm great, thanks, Shaky. Great to see you, mate. Great to see you as well. Now, for the viewers today, um, my, this, there's going to be a podcast off the back of this uh, that myself and Grant are going to, are going to do. However, uh, today, Grant has very kindly um, offered to give us a tour of the National Cricket Academy um, in Pakistan. Um, so it's over to you, sir. Awesome, Shaggy. Hey, well, thanks uh, heaps for the opportunity. And um, yeah, wonderful to see you again. And um, just have to say, you know, a big hi to all my all my friends uh, in Scotland. You know, we as a family, we, we really miss lots about Scotland. Uh, we don't miss the weather, though. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say. <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, such a wonderful time. And um, hey, look, I really look forward to talking to you more about that in the podcast. But um, for now, um, sort of just give you a little bit of a tour of uh, life here in Lahore at the National High Performance Centre. Uh, so if you um, bear with me, I'll, I've just been across the road doing a bit of work and just going to pay my coffee bill and um, stay with me. Let's, uh, let's go. We're getting the full experience. We're getting, we're getting the life of Grant Bradburn. He's sitting in a lovely coffee shop right now um, and he's got good that you're getting your mask on, Grant, apply, you know, stick into regulations and uh, off you go. Absolutely. Don't forget to pay your bill. That's a good idea, Grant. The, uh, the, the great thing about this place is uh, there is amazing coffee and uh, these guys are pretty good. So uh, I'll just pay my bill and, uh, and we'll be off. It is pretty expensive though here, Shaggy. It's kind of really? like... Uh, well, this is up market, up market place. Yeah, it's kind of like taking Preston Momsen out in Stockbridge. You know, you, uh, you, you empty your wallet every time you come, and uh, they they claim it's um, they claim it's the US dollar against the Pakistani rupee, but I think he just puts it up for our scorers, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's actually. It's actually very good coffee here. And, it, looks uh, great. it looks like a great, great place. And this is right outside the Gaddafi Stadium. Yeah, this is uh, well, this is kind of on the back of the ground. Uh, so you know Gaddafi Stadium really well, eh? Yep, yep. Um, so the National HPC, the High Performance Centre, is right across the road from uh, Gaddafi Stadium. So uh, this and a number of other uh, businesses um, are situated kind of under the grandstand if you like and uh, so yeah it's obviously a, a very good um, situation for PCP they um, obviously draw a lot of rent from all these businesses and they do well too yeah good, good, good. good. thank good. you very much see you later how is, things, how is things over there Grant with the uh, with the old power you know the, the, the virus and the pandemic how how are things going in Pakistan uh, things have things have seem to be under control pretty well um <laughs> Yeah, and from a um, from a cricket point of view, PCB have have done things very very well. Uh, they, um, you know, it is quite a quite a drama going from bubble to bubble, and uh, so much testing. Um, but um, it's just the way of the world at the moment to to make cricket happen. And we're very lucky that we've obviously just had Zimbabwe uh, here for a very successful tour, uh, and everything went off really well. Our domestic season is halfway through uh, and everything's gone so well there and it's pretty tough for the players you know they're all um, contained and in, in bubbles and uh, you know from hotel to ground that's all they can do there's no um, yeah, there's no breaking the bubble so everyone's aware of how critical it is to you know keep to protocol but at the same time it's not that easy for the players so yeah yeah we, I, um, did, I, did, I did have one I was talking to David Visa yesterday night and he was uh, obviously about to play uh, he's playing in the PS PSL final and he did tell me that last time he was there they never got to leave the hotel but actually this time they've got to go and play you know under high high regulations they got to go and play a bit of golf um, and they have got the chance to go out which is which is great to hear because it can get pretty depressing sitting in a hotel for long periods of time yeah absolutely shaggy absolutely 
Hey, so um, we'll just go across the road. Uh, just gonna, yeah, let's do it. Grab, just going to grab my gunman, uh, Waka. This is uh, Waka who looks after me. He's How a great man. <laughs> he is, uh, of course, named after the great Waka Eunice, whose wow. uh, birthday was yesterday. And, uh, yeah, Waka gives me a kicking at golf, actually. He's not a bad golfer. But uh, <laughs> this Waka, <laughs> this Waka he's, got his, yeah, he's got his cricket bat with him. Yeah, look... Uh, Oh, yep. Yeah, nice bat. bat. Nice bat. Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's called an AK something. AK. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but he's a good man, Waka. He, um, so does he, does the grad, does he just watch you? Does he basically, when you're leaving the grounds or going out of it, does he just accompany you then? Yeah, he just, uh, look, they just, they just like to make sure that we feel comfortable and we're looked after. Yep. So uh, they accompany us everywhere, to be honest. Shaky, I, I, don't, I don't feel that we need them uh, yep. most of the time, but um, look, we appreciate the fact that uh, they're doing their best to, um, you know, just to make us feel at home and at ease. So, yeah, that's uh, good to hear. That's good good. To hear. So here's the um, just across the road is the the late great Abdul Kadir's Cricket Academy. Yeah, uh, yeah. This um, LCA ground here, there is cricket going on over there from daylight to sunset. So, uh, yeah. and this here is the National Cricket Academy. So, across the road where we were is Gaddafi Stadium. Wow. So, just there. So, uh, this is, uh, here you go. Uh, all you Scots would be able to read this, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> I, actually, I actually can't read Urdu very, very well. Um, so. That's all right. Me. Me reading that is like uh, listening to some of the Scottish accents sometimes. You know, it's, uh, it's like trying to understand Lisky. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what it says in English. Uh, so, National High Performance Centre. So, so, yeah, so here we go. Shukri Waka. Uh, well, you're learning a bit of Urdu. Good to see, good to see you, Grant. Hey, how are you, Zahid? Thank you. Well, good. There's, there's our other gunman. How uh, long have you Maybe um, maybe we got coffee later, but I'll, I'll let you know. You'll, you can go home early, eh? Yeah. Don't, don't let him give you any bamboo. Okay. Shukri, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so, yeah, here's, uh, here's the academy. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how Baba Azam is seeing the ball right now. <laughs> <laughs> Big HPC. Very, very much, yeah, what a player. Yeah. What a player. Let's uh, let's see who's in. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too many flash cars, so maybe some of the players are not having a not having a day off today. So uh, you know, can't see many. Oh, there's the bulletproof buses down the back there. I see them. See them in the distance. That's uh, that's my sponsored car there. Oh, no, <laughs> no, not really. No, we get uh, we get chauffeur driven everywhere we go. We're very lucky. This is. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't imagine you're too keen to drive in Pakistan, Grant. No way, mate. No way. <laughs> you need good game sense out there. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's Saklane Mushtaq's car there. I, oh, I wow. call that extra. Uh, he, it, it drives like he bowls. It could go left, could go right. Any, any well, it's funny you say that because I, I had a podcast with Adam Hollyoak because a very good friend of Saklane and he said that he banned Saklane from driving. Um, <laughs> All together, so he used to pick him up and take him to the oval and just didn't let him drive. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I must admit, he's a shocking driver. He just tells so many stories and he's looking at me the whole time. I say, Saki, just watch the road. <laughs> he just tells me, Oh, don't worry, don't worry, Grant. I'm, I'm just following wicket to wicket. He goes right down the center lane, right in the middle of the road. But uh, anyway, here's uh, here's the admin block. This is uh, this is where we live. Uh, the coaches, uh, coaches' quarters. The captains come and uh, stay here as well uh, at times. Uh, so we'll go through here first. Over there is the Bob Warmer Indoor School. We'll have a peek in there and nice. see if there's any players around. Uh, over there also, we'll go over there shortly. That's the uh, players' block. So there is about maybe about 30, 35 rooms uh, here. So the players can come and stay here during camps or uh, pre-tours and all that sort of thing, uh, or as a couple of players are doing at the moment, they're rehabbing, so they can come and stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the training 
uh, outdoor trainings out the back. So we'll uh, just walk walk through here first and see see who's around, see what's uh, see what's up. Not sure about that. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, uh, we recognize we recognize this man, the great Imran Khan. The great man. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, this is where we live. There's all rooms up top, down below, uh, dining hall through there. Uh, we'll just take it for a quick scoot so through here. Is this, is this where you stay as well then, Grant? You staying in the academy? Yeah, yeah, I stay here. I stay up top, so it's uh, very good. We all got our own rooms and everything. Got a swimming pool and recovery out the back, ice baths out the back. Obviously, it's midwinter here. Uh, yeah, as, so, as you can see, yeah, it looks free, it looks freezing. Yeah, so the uh, the pool's obviously not full, but um, normally is in the summer, and there's a good uh, recovery room out the back with ice baths and everything. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's well set up, Shaky. It's got yeah, everything. Well, it's um, it's, uh, it's the dining hall up there. Yeah, kitchen staff are awesome. It's uh, chicken surprise normally. <laughs> but uh, not too hot. They know, they know not to make it too hot for me. Good, yeah, that would probably probably be wise. I, I'm sure you give them clean instruction on that. Otherwise, uh, you may spend a bit too much time in the toilet seat. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like uh, the players might have been given an afternoon off. But um, here's the indoor indoor centre. Um, wow. It's a, it's probably about the same size, I think, as um, as Mary Erskine. Uh, about the same size. So about it's, decent uh, run-ups. It looks like they would have pretty decent run-ups there for the bowlers. Yeah, good run-ups. Um, it's a little bit tired. Uh, so we're in the process of um, of looking at redoing this. Uh, needs new nets and a little bit of a paint and we're also in the process of developing a, a pretty exciting new uh, Pakistan way so we're looking to uh, spruce this pl place up a little bit with some uh, some memorabilia and um, some of the some of the greats uh, but there's one of the greats up there obviously Bob Warmer yeah, who wow. is a um, highly respected coach uh, in Pakistan and uh, yeah, this whole um, indoor academy is named after him. So there's the birthday boy from yesterday. Uh, he was probably on the golf course yesterday as well. And there's his buddy. Wow. So uh, let's uh, let's keep wondering, see what else we can find, mate. Yeah, let's do it. I have been here, Grant. I've uh, I spent a bit of time there. I came to to visit uh, Yasser Arafat once, and I had a net out the back, and I. I got to got to hang around for a little while. It's 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 quite a quite a facility, beautifully kept as well, as you can see. Yeah, it's, look, it's really nice. It's uh, it's done well. I mean, the the gardeners do an amazing job. It's everything's um, very peaceful. You know, I love sitting over there. That's my little guitar spot over there under nice. the pergola. Nice. And uh, it's a nice place to do a bit of work when it's hot. And uh, um, you see the other ground. There's another LCA ground out the back. Uh, that's the admin block. So yes, it's, it's really, really nicely kept. And through here, there's some wonderful memorabilia. Um, there's some bad memories here of 92 World Cup when Pakistan robbed New Zealand of the World Cup. <laughs> um, Enzaman yeah, played not too, not too bad in innings after he had a, a dodgy stomach, I believe, the night before. I know, I know. He played out of his skin, didn't he? So... Um, his, uh, his medical suites through here, uh, physio rooms, medical suites, memorabilia everywhere. So it's a medical department, treatment room. Um, got a couple of doctors, uh, resident doctors, sports physician there. Uh, Dr. Sahel, main doctor here. Um, you've got a doctor, if, if you're ever feeling unwell, you've got a doctor. Doctor on your doorstep? Yeah, we have, we have. So, um, yeah, fortunately, I'm, I've uh, been very lucky. Touch wood. Yeah, good, good. Glad to but, hear uh, it. Nothing major. Do not disturb. So, uh, okay, this is where uh, Muhammad Yusuf, yep. Atika Zaman, and Umar Rashid. This is where they're based. Right. Okay. But, and that's their program, which they're busy filling up. So those are the. It's the resident uh, coaches, but they they might be coaching. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there's some players rooms down there. Hmm, there's not many people around. Hang on. Yeah, I'm noticing it's a bit like a ghost town today. It is. Uh, it might be prayer time. So anyway, we'll, we'll wander up here. Um, again, lots of memorabilia everywhere. Some really, really good stuff. Yeah, that looks uh, awesome. Yeah, more players' rooms up here. Um, we won't stay too long in here, but this is the library. Lots of um, amazing memorabilia in there. So, what does it, does the library get used much? Do you do some 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 sessions in there as uh, with the players, etc.? What or is it just general for going if players want to go in and have a bit of downtime and read a book? Is that all it's literally for, or is it anything else it's used for? Yeah, you can go in there and chill and read a book, and if you, you know, if you're wanting to, um, oh wow, here they are. Huh? They're all hiding. Yeah, was, they're all. I was hoping Mohammed Zahid might be around. We'll just do a quick tour. Oh, this, this is the board. This looks amazing. Is this where you had all your conference calls when you were when you were kicking off? Well, oh, I recognize I recognize this man. I had a, a podcast with Adam Holyoke recently. He was uh, he was telling me that you are uh, you're very, very great friends, and he said he had to ban you from driving when you were over in London. <laughs> What, what are you saying? I'm saying it's a Glenn I, I had a podcast with Adam Holyoak recently, and he was telling me that uh, you're a very, very dear friend of his. And uh, when you yeah. were over in London, he had to say to you, Saki, I'm going to do all the driving now. And he used to pick you up. And from that, from that moment on, but Grant tells me you're a very good driver. Now, listen, he always makes stories, okay? That was part of my contract. When I signed contract with the Surrey, yeah. I said to them, I need a chauffeur. <laughs> and and I said to them, I said I had a test of all the players, and yeah. Adam was outstanding, you know, in all those drivers. Yeah, and I yeah. said I need, I need him as a driver. <laughs> they, they, good, that that, that brother makes a lot of uh, fake stories. So don't <laughs> believe on him. <laughs> I'll be sure to tag him when I post this, and I, I, I'm sure he'll fight. He'll have a he'll have a laugh. Uh, otherwise, how are you? Are you keeping well? Family all good? <laughs> Yeah, we better we better keep going. They're in a meeting here. This is the head of domestic. He's, he's, he might give oh. us some bum. But... <laughs> I know this man. He played in the same under nineteen World Cup as me. You, oh. I think so. Which, which under nineteen World? New Cup? Zealand. New Zealand. Uh, you were there. Yeah, I was with Scotland. I was playing for Scotland. You were in the same team as uh, Kamran Sajid, Mohammed Khalil. Yes, Kamran Sajid. Yes, yes, yes. I was in the same team, two thousand two. Junaid now, man. Ah, ha, Junaid. Let me let me have a closer look at you. Kasim Sheikh, I'm, I've changed oh. a little bit now. <laughs> I might have grown some beard. <laughs> yeah, I've grown a beard now. Then I was just a little bit. How are you? How are you doing? How's your how's your role going? But you you recognize me pretty quickly. I'm I'm pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Very true. Uh, how's your role going? Um, over. Uh, what's your what's your position? I'm uh, uh, GM domestic cricket, so oh, very good. Uh, I'm looking after domestic cricket. Very good, very good. Well, listen, all, all the best in your in your role. It's thank great to see you. Great to see you doing this. Th thank you, thank you. Cheers. Take care, yeah. take care. All right, we'll keep moving. This is Asim Malik. He's the hello. He's the logistics boss. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And this is the smartest dresser in Pakistan. Mr. Bhai, you say bye. Salam alaikum. बॉलिंग देख रहे थे और मैं आपसे आपके बिल्कुल पास बैठ के देख रहा था आप स्टडी कर रहे थे उसके उसके उसकी बॉलिंग तो मुझे बड़ा मजा आया था आपके साथ मुलाकात करने कैसे हो आप मेरा फेवरेट डैड दिस इज माय डैड्स फेवरेट बैट्समैन फेवरेट बैट्समैन ऑफ एन ऑल पाकिस्तान इट्स अ मेनी ऑफ आवर फेवरेट बैट्समैन या एब्सोल्युटली लेजेंड यू थैंक यू बाय अपोलॉजीज टुडे थैंक यू ब्रो बाय सॉरी एम रन यू कैन कैरी ऑन
Oh, well, at least, at least we... Uh, that was awesome, we... Grant. That was a great... Speaking to some of the, the legends of the game there, two of the biggest legends in Pakistani cricket, Mohammed Yusuf and Saklan Mushtaq. So I'm humbled by that. That was a that was a great insight there. They look busy. That's a good thing. You'll be happy to see that, that they're looking busy. They, uh, they're both lovely men, aren't they? Lovely men. Very and, good. Yeah, very, um, very privileged to be working with them on a daily basis up here. So... This is, uh, we'll carry on our tour. This is, um, I'll turn you around. This is more of the players rooms up top here. And as we look out over the, over the ground. Uh, oh, beautiful. Yeah, so it's the mosque in the background there. That's Gaddafi Stadium over, over there. And this is our training area uh, out the back. So it's Welcome a very good that. facility. It's not, not huge. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have, couple of blocks there's one block over here uh, which they'll use in the summer uh, they're obviously using the the end block at the moment down there um, and normally the wickets are pretty good although we've had a lot of rain actually in the last couple of days so uh, we'll wander you down wouldn't, and you wouldn't you wouldn't think so when Pakistan get a lot of rain it dries up pretty quickly I'd imagine whereas you know yeah you, you absolutely don't get no, that's right. You would know, and um, it's actually been quite nice because it's uh, you can see it's beautiful and clear, and it's uh, cleared cleared the smog a little bit. You know, there has been a lot of smog with uh, some of the uh, sugar canes being burnt off, uh, creating a lot of smog at this time of year, and yeah, it's been quite um, quite bad in the last week. So just a little bit of rain and wind, and it's been uh, it's been cleared quite nicely. So yeah, let's um, let's keep wandering. Um, yeah, as you can see, some some really cool memorabilia. I mm -hmm. uh, haven't seen any Scottish shirts though. Yeah, I was actually speaking. Um, I was speaking to Kyle Kutzer, um, and obviously Kyle's the one that just that, that kindly put us in touch. Um, so thanks. So thank you to Kyle. Um, and he was. I was saying to him, you know, it'd be awesome if Scotland could to get a tour to Pakistan. And he was saying he would he would love to go to Pakistan. And I said, well, you've got Grant Bradburn over there. I'm sure he could he could pull some strings. Yeah, we, we need to make that happen, Shaggy. So there's um, there's lots of offices here. I don't know what half of these people do, to be honest. Uh, I go medical and sports science. Week. That's what they're doing in there. Okay. <laughs> medical and sports science stuff. Um, physio, gym. We'll wander through the gym to see who's around. Oh, not many people. Only Rahat. Rahat is our coach education manager. Brilliant. So he works with me in, in coaching the coaches. So yeah, here's our here's our gym, and as you can see, it's pretty old. It's not yeah. the it's not the luxurious uh, facilities that the Scotland boys have uh, access to. But it's amazing to think, you know, what uh, uh, outstanding players have come out of these facilities. So uh, yeah. it does the job, you know, it does the job. So. Uh, we are also looking to upgrade uh, the gym pretty soon as well. Some pretty cool things here. Uh, that's a beautiful one of Azza. Uh, 200 in, uh, in Melbourne, I think. Wonderful. And oh, here's, here's one Scottish cricket all up. Uh, that Niall O'Brien getting cleaned up by Muhammad Amir. Yeah. Muhammad Amir, yeah. And uh, famous picture. Oh, what a picture! What a picture! One of the great, one of the great moments on Lawrence Cricket Ground. But look at this. I mean, I mean, I mean all of these blokes are um, are my favourites, and and Amir is such a, a beautiful human being. And man, the the presentation of scene that he delivers. You know, when you're catching for him, just doing some um, some level one stuff is incredible. His control of the scene is amazing. And I and I even said to him, look at look at this ball. It's smashed into Niall's stumps, yep. and the seam is still upright. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I, see, so, I, see he was, I see he was in the um, the academy, I think it was last week or so, and he was having a ball at uh, Muhammad Yusuf, which was, uh, yeah. Muhammad Yusuf still looked like he could, uh, he's, uh, you know, there's plenty of life left, and um, yeah, he was playing some lovely shots. Oh, he's uh, yeah, incredible. Everyone gathered around just to, just to see him play. Um, and I'll just chuck my bag in here. This is my office. This is oh, where it all happens. The head, the head of the head of coaches gets his own office, rightly so. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's a great area. Had um, 
Ijaz Ahmed and all of the under-19 coaches in there this morning. Yeah, uh, just talking about planning for New Zealand and uh, just providing them a little bit of support. So that's uh, Saki's office there. He's the head of international player development. And we'll see if Hempy's in and he's not in. No, David Hemp is our new women's coach. Okay. Uh, and how's, so, he getting, how's he getting on, Grant? Yeah, he's uh, he's been a, a brilliant uh, addition to our staff. You know, very, very knowledgeable. Um, he's um, yeah, very passionate about the women's game, of course, and very knowledgeable about high performance, uh, full stop. So um, so here's one of our players in, in rehab, Eason from Central Punjab. Uh, he is just working on his run-up out there. But often, I thought today, actually, I'm, I have to apologise, we haven't got any players in. Uh, Nazim Shah normally... I've seen Nazim Shah was doing a bit of work with uh, Mohammed Zahid um, just yeah. the other day. So is, is, is Nazim Shah, is he, is he in some sort of rehab? Is he recovering from an injury? Yeah, he is. Uh, he is recovering from injury and he's coming along well. Um, he's really filling out, actually. And... Um, which is an exciting prospect, isn't he? Really yeah, he, exciting. He, he's he's one that we we need to keep him nice and nice and safe and, and in good shape because he's definitely, I think, one of, one of the big stars for the future. Yeah, yeah. It just uh, it blows me away, Shaggy, to um, to know how many fast bowlers there is in this country. You know, there's uh, there's no shortage of uh, Nazim Shahs. I mean, obviously Nazim is is exceptional, as is uh, Shahid Afridi. Uh, Shaheen Afridi um, with, with his ability, um, but there is so many bowlers uh, who can bowl 145 plus. Wow. Now, I've, I've probably seen um, a good 12 to 15 of them uh, just rock up to the nets and bowl quick. Uh, not necessarily straight, but yep. they can bowl quick. Yep. And uh, this shows you how many are out there, you know, in a, in a country of 240 million people. It's... Um, and with cricket being the only sport, you know, there's no, there's no competition. Um, yeah, it's it just blows your mind to to know how many how many players are out there. So um, yeah, it's exciting times. And you know, could you we um, me, could you just tell me, Grant, on a, on a what what kind of stuff are you guys doing there? You've obviously got a fantastic team there. You know, all top pot men on Mohammed Zahid, along with Shoaib Akhtar, one of the quickest bowlers of all time. Mohamed Yusuf, one of the greatest batsmen of all time. Sackley, one of the greatest spinners. So you've got, you've got great guys that you're. How how do you are you going out and spreading all around Pakistan and, and making sure you cover all areas? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so those um, those guys are the resident coaches here at the National High Performance Centre. Um, but we are we have six of those around the country, six high performance centres that we are still developing. But uh, definitely uh, Karachi and Multan. Are up and running and so we will have resident staff at all of those centers as well but these guys are the national high performance coaches and their skill set so uh, we will send them out on missions uh, as we've done with uh, Atik so Atik is um, uh, he's up in Rawalpindi at the moment uh, working with the under 19 coaches so they're finishing their three-day campaign at the moment so Atik is um, instilling some of the uh, fielding concepts uh, into those environments and helping the coaches understand, you know, what we're wanting in terms of fielding. Because as you probably know, fielding and fitness is, is one of the work-ons for us. Mm -hmm. And Atik has come in with those special uh, specialist skills. And so we'll send all of these guys out on different missions to uh, work with different uh, coaches. So we've all been down to Karachi uh, for a 10-day stretch to work with the first team coaches and players. Uh, we've also been in Multan uh, during the T20 uh, competition, Raul Pindi, and also in Karachi as the second 11 coaches and players as well. So uh, we've had um, a lot of input into um, supporting uh, all of those players with these coaches. But for me, my role is to support all of those coaches as well um, uh, and you know, provide them all of the support that they need in terms of just building a profile for them, um, just really introducing them to what uh, good coaching is, good coaching practices in our mind, and really uh, trying to shift their thinking away from, well, uh, you know, if I'm a good player, then I must be a good coach. So uh, respectfully, yeah. 
yeah, it's uh, something that I'm challenging here in Pakistan because we we are so blessed uh, with an amazing uh, pool of cricket experience and cricket knowledge. But um, as we know, uh, cricket playing and cricket coaching are two different professions. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to uh, try and embrace that, that experience and knowledge they've got, but also to help uh, everyone, you know, from Misba down right down to our under-19 domestic coaches, understand, you know, the, the simple uh, criteria of being a good coach. You know, and, and for me, that just starts and stops with communication and building good relationships with your players is first and foremost, you know, having, we have a mantra here that it's player first, you know, the players come first. Mm -hmm. And uh, our coaching has to be outcome based as well but it has to be around the player. What does the player need? Uh, and we are very clear that our player doesn't need uh, world-class preaching. So we don't want our coaches just telling them how good they were in their day and putting a ceiling on how good our players can be. So we want to allow our players to be as good as they can be, you know, and uh, that requires quite a shift in our coaching. So that's what, what I've been employed by Wazim to do, uh, you know, to shift and challenge uh, our coaching philosophies. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm loving the opportunity and it's a real privilege uh, to be- and Do you feel, Grant, do you feel that it's being embraced? Do you feel it's being embraced by the coaches and the coaches at the, you know, lower levels that are coming up through, you know, from the domestic structure? Do you feel they're embracing it? Because there's a big culture. I mean, I've played in Pakistan, I've played Kaidiasm Trophy over there, and a coaching style over there when you know so it, it, it's very much this is what I've done and this and, and so I, I can relate to what you're what you're saying there and I think it's fantastic that somebody like you, yourself is changing that mindset uh, you know is it being embraced yeah absolutely the coaches uh, so far are loving it and uh, really embracing the opportunity to uh, now be supported but also challenged so mm -hmm. we've um uh, we've got a big WhatsApp group of all of our coaches, 70 odd coaches now, and we're sharing lots of uh, great coach learning uh, daily. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been able to connect uh, with, with our coaches one-to-one -one, uh, and uh, remotely as well, uh, all the time. And now they know uh, they've got very, very clear job descriptions in terms of what we expect of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're also putting a lot of trust and faith and empowerment in them. Uh, to you know, to produce the results in their way because uh, the one thing that we're very very conscious of here, Shaggy, is um, is um, making sure that we're uh, protecting and fostering the real Pakistani way, the real Pakistani flavour. Mm -hmm. And in that uh, way, for example, there should be no barriers uh, to entry into our programs. Uh, there should be no age limit. Uh, to our programs. Age and stage is not a barrier here in Pakistan and there's been so many of examples of people who have come into the program at a very early age, not through a traditional high performance program, but from tape ball cricket in the mountains, for example, and perform straight away for Pakistan. So those are the things that we're searching for, the real Pakistan flavour um, examples of, uh, of the skills that we need to dominate the world again. And uh, so that's the exciting things that we've got on the go. Um, we've actually been working for a year now on uh, a project called the Pakistan Way, which is um, very similar to winning our way in Scotland. And uh, on Thursday, actually, we've, um, well, we're planning to launch that. You'll see that come out in the next couple of weeks. But a real um, exciting part of that is to unearth the the exact skill sets that we need to achieve the lofty outcomes that we've we've uh, set. We've set some very lofty ambitions over the next five years. And on Thursday, we're bringing together the skill sets of uh, Sucklane and Mushi are coming together as wow. from a specific point of view. We're bringing Zahid and Waka together from a pace bowling point of view, uh, all in one room. Uh, we're also having in a, in a separate room, we've got uh, Mizba, Yunus, Yusuf and EJ is all coming together and unearthing the eight to 10 things that we must have if we're going to achieve those outcomes. And uh, it's going to be really exciting actually on Thursday to bring all that uh, knowledge together and try and unearth, you know, some of the, 
uh, some of the real Pakistan things that we know we need and we must develop if we are going to be top of the world again. Yeah. Well, listen, um, you know, I'm a, Scotland is my, my birthplace, but my Pakistan is a place dear to my heart. Um, and, you know, my father, my father is born and bred in Pakistan. I've spent lots of time over there. So always going to be following you with keen interest. It's been absolutely amazing to get an insight into your day-to-day -day role and, you know, to meet some of the coaches and to hear what, you're, what you've got planned and what's going ahead, to see the facility. Amazing. And I'm really excited, Grant, about what's, what the future holds. And you're absolutely right. The talent is certainly in Pakistan. I think you, you, you and your team sound like you're going to unearth as much as possible of it. It's not an easy task, you know. It's a it's a it's a massive country with a big with a high population. But you sound like you're doing all the all the right things. And just to, for the viewers, there will be a podcast coming out um, off the back of this. So we're going to get to hear about the the great man's journey. This will come out first, um, and then we will get a little bit more of an insight into Grant Bradburn, um, which is quite a quite a journey he's had, which now sees him over in lovely Pakistan. So I just want to say thank you very much, Grant. Greatly appreciated. My pleasure, Shaggy. It's been great to give you a little bit of a tour, a um, little bit of an insight for um, all my Scottish friends and, and, and uh, all the uh, cricket folk in Scotland just to get a flavour of, um, of life in Pakistan here and, uh, and also the, the wonderful facilities that is uh, the National High Performance Centre. And look, we'd uh, love to uh, see Scotland tour in the near, near future. And you know, awesome. you've got a a, um, a forever supporter of Scotland uh, right here. So if I can help make that happen, uh, I'd absolutely love to. So, um, yeah, look, I look forward to chatting you uh, with you tomorrow, Shaggy. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go again tomorrow. If you stay on the line for one second, I'll speak to you the other end, but thank you very much, Grant. My pleasure, mate. I love peace. With our peace.